Hi, I'm Nancy Fredericks of Nancy Fredericks International, and I wanted to talk to you today about something that I heard Anthony Hopkins share on a program. But before I go there, let me tell you why this thought that Anthony Hopkins shared in this interview has resonated so often, buzzing in my brain. Let me take you back. I'm privileged because I'm a strategic coach and I work with companies all over the country. And I'm also privileged because I get to see new graduates coming in, neophyte executives, having graduated from college with their dreams and their goals and their expectations and their excitement right in front of their eyes. And then I also watch them several years later, often Many are lulled into this box that's corporate America. The box that has to do with quarter to quarter and project to project and on time and under budget and focused on now, 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 now. Completely eliminating potential and possibility from the brains of many. Now, let's get back to Anthony Hopkins. The reality is, is that Tavis said to him, how did you end up how you are, Anthony? And Anthony said, you know, many years ago, I was working in my dad's shop and Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor drove through my village right past the shop where my dad owned it. And I saw them and I said to myself, one day, that's going to be me. One day, I won't be in a small village. One day, the world will be all inclusive in my life. And we all know that came into being because Anthony Hopkins is known as one of the greatest actors of our time. Now, let me segue back to us. Think about you and your dreams. How extravagant, how big, how bold, how fantastic are they? Or have you been lulled and settled into thinking about just now? You see, I want to shake you up from that mentality because your future rests right here. It rests in your head and it emanates from your heart. And I know many of you are looking at me and saying, wait a minute, Nancy. I've had dreams, big, bold ones, and nothing came to fruition. So pause for a second and just go back into your memory banks and remember those big, bold vision you had. What were you saying to yourself underneath, inside where you live and breathe? Was the language supporting you for achieving all the greatness? Or were you belittling the dream? Were you knocking it down one word, one action, one thought at a time so that again you were lulled into the box of today? I know from my own experience that troubles come along when you point out in the future and you say, this is who I want to be. And I know you stumble, and I know you fall, and I know it gets dark, and I know you think there's no end to this. And I also know the way out is to trust in your vision, and yourself, and your heart, and the universe, and your friends, and everyone out there to support you in your dreams. Because I want you to say loud and clearly to yourself when you're stumbling, oh! Is this what it looks like on the way to? Because the truth is, we're always on the way to. Are we on the way to what we've chosen for ourselves? Or are we on the way to the breadcrumbs that other le others have left behind for us that never take us to our dreams? So start dreaming extravagantly. Be big and share your big dreams with me because I'd love to hear about them. 
Until next time, much success always.